All right, we're back. Floor is finished on the boat. Uh, huge milestone there to get that all knocked out. Um, I think for now, just to avoid um, sticking around on the inside and stepping all over that new paint while it's still drying, I think we're just gonna bounce around and, and work on a couple different things. Um, I want to, for sure, test uh, these lights. I wanna make sure that the lights on the boat are working, um, both the rear one and the front one. I know currently they are not. Um, so we're gonna check out those two, make sure those are working. Um, I want to maybe install that grate in the middle um, of the floor, as well as put this carpet back in underneath there. Um, so I did just pressure wash this. It had some stains on it, so it's got that cleaned up a little bit. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll get that thrown in there. Um, I did already start working on the actual cushions themselves. Didn't need a whole lot of work. Um, some of the some of the wood was a little bit rotted, so I did have to put some new wood in it. Um, but everything, oh boy. Everything is all good there. The last thing I have to do is just finish rebuilding this uh, this last seat. This one's going to need a little bit of attention. This bottom base is a little weak, so we'll have to get that all situated. Um, I think we're probably going to work on draining the oil out of the uh, the lower unit here. Maybe we'll get that new prop put on. Uh, we're going to be bouncing around all over the place, but we're going to uh, try and tackle some of the uh, the small things we still have left to do. All right, first light we're gonna work on is gonna be this backlight here. Um, haven't actually tried to, haven't actually tried this one yet. So basically there's just two prongs in there that go into these two prongs here at the bottom. So let's see if this one works. All right, well, easy enough. Popped right in, and it is on. I don't even know what switch this is on on the dash. The uh, All the words on the switches are all worn out, so I really don't even know uh, which one it is, but turn on the right one, because it's working. Which is very hard to see unless you're eye level with it. But it's working. Let's, uh, let's jump on to the front lights. All right, I'm hoping we get lucky with this and it's just a, uh, a blown out bulb. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Well, just dropped it down there somewhere. So let's uh, figure out how to get that back out. Oh my God, I don't even see it. Where the hell did it go? I like literally can't even see it in there. Oh, I see it. So that doesn't happen again. We'll do that. If you don't have uh, one of these, I would definitely recommend getting one. So it's got a little magnet on the end. On the other end's a little button. As you push it, it extends claws, and it's like hard for you to see, but it's super long. Definitely helps with getting stuff out of like tight spaces like that. Um, light bulb is super corroded and burnt. Oh yeah, you can see right in the middle it's burnt out and split. So let's try, let's see if we got a new bulb. Should have another one of those.
All right, it's not working. Let's see if we're getting power. If only I had another set of hands. All right, so we got no power. be a couple different things. All right, I lied. We got 12 volts. So we do have power. Oh, okay. That's why that's not working, it's a different bulb. All right, so I don't actually have the right size bulb for this. Um, so I have to go pick one up at the store. But we got power, so as long as we get the right bulb in there, we should be fine. All right, so while we wait on that new bulb, we're gonna jump to the back. Um, we're gonna work on the out drive. We're gonna pull out uh, the old oil, put in some new oil, um, as well as finally install our new prop. All right, so the drain bolt for these are all the way on the bottom here. Um, so let's see, let me move this so I can get it breaking free. Hoping this comes off easily. Nope. I think we're gonna have to bring this up in the air first to get it loose and then we'll lower it back down. Alright. We got that loose, let's lower it back down again. All right, cool. Doesn't look like any water in there, which is awesome. The uh, vent tube is right here, or I'm um, sorry, the vent hole is right here, so we're gonna crack that open. It's gonna help the uh, oil come out a little bit faster from the bottom. It's also gonna be our telltale sign once it's full when we start refilling it. And we're gonna let that drain. All right, looks like we're done draining here. So we're gonna attempt to use this thing again. We'll see if it, uh, if it works on this one. Last time I tried using it, it just kept leaking everywhere. So I ended up just pouring it from the top. All right, doesn't look like it's leaking, so it's gonna take a good bit. All right, I was not anticipating it using more than one whole bottle, so let me, uh, I'm just gonna plug this off and then we're gonna fill it from the top. All right, let me grab another bottle of oil. Whoa. All right, nowhere near as clean as I was hoping for it to be, but we got uh, some oil that's spilled out of the top here, but overall it is full. So I'm gonna let that drip down a little bit more, uh, just get the rest of the oil off and then I'll wipe it off, everything down and then we'll uh, retighten those, uh, those fills. All right, so we got that all situated and good. Um, now, I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, this old gear wheel that was in there. Something I just started doing, I bought one of these jugs from uh, Tractor Supply. It's kind of like the VP Racing fuel, uh, fuel cans. And I basically just use those for all like my waste oil. Now we can pour everything into the jug. It's got a nice uh, sealable lid, so that way you don't have to worry about it spilling out anywhere. And then take it to like advanced auto parts or something to get rid of it all.
prop this up somewhere so it can keep draining. All right, I think next while we're back here, we'll work on uh, throwing this new prop on. All right, so this should be should be the exact same prop that's already in there. Um, I took the uh, serial number off the one that was on there, matched it with what should have been on there, um, and then ordered this new one. So let's check it out. So I still kept the uh, original one just to make sure that it matched up. So let's see. There's a bunch of main things that matter with this. Um, I'm not an expert with prop sizes, but I know you have different degrees on the front end of the propeller and the same thing with the rear end um so that's what two of your numbers are going to be for the other thing that really matters is obviously going to be uh the splines inside here you want to make sure it matches what you have on the boat everything looks the same same size so should be uh should be the right one all right let's go uh let's go throw this on the boat all right so first part you're going to want to put on there obviously is going to be your thrust washer which is this part right here uh, didn't come with a new one so we're going to use the original one so throw that on there next is going to be your prop that's going to go on just going to go on this way sweet next is going to be your i guess it's called a spacer which this kit did come with which is going to be this piece which is going to go on like this it's also splined so you want to make sure it goes on to the uh one of the splines of the shaft then you have your washer just going to go on like this and then you have your nut that'll go on here once we get that all cranked down we'll fold these uh these tabs up onto the side of the, the nut here. Let me grab an impact and uh, socket. Got to watch when you crank these down because obviously as it starts to get tighter, um, it's going to want to start spinning. And already our washer came off, so let me back that out. Cool. That is plenty tight. And then we're just gonna fold this little tab up. Cool. Should be all good. All right, I think next up we're going to work on installing all these trim pieces um, that go up in the front here, uh, where that little like lip is, there's ones that go on the sides, on both sides, and the one that go in the middle. So let's uh, let's jump up there. We'll go in through the front, so that way we're not stepping on the new floor. Uh, we'll get all that stuff installed. All right, now remember, we still do need to give this a really good cleaning uh, to get a lot of this junk that's off. But as you can see, that little trim goes there. Same thing on that side, and then this one goes here. So will help cover all that. Uh, cover all that stuff up. All right, so we got that one in. I'm curious if I can find a trim kind of similar to this uh, to put up here where like your feet are gonna go to cover up, uh, I guess where the, where the new floor ends and the carpet begins on the walls, but I haven't really been able to find something that'll fit one or that, that'll do exactly what I'm looking for just yet, but I'm gonna keep looking for that. All right, 
And the last one we have is this front one here. Maybe we will throw in this metal grate. That I do want to clean off though before we put in the boat. So I'm not really trying to polish it even though I'm using a polisher. Up like a polishing compound. Um, really just trying to get some of the stain off of it. That way it looks a little bit cleaner. As you can see there's just tons of gunk on it. Actually, before we do that, this is the piece of wood that's going to sit in it. Um, let's see if I can get that all on the camera. There we go. So, yes, yeah, this is the piece of wood that's going to go in here. It's going to sit in there just like this. Um, I did already sand this down. Um, couldn't get every little nook and cranny of it, but sand the majority of it down uh, so it's nice and smooth already i'm gonna get a uh, teak wood i think it's called like a teak wood lightener um, and then i'm gonna paint all that on there it's basically like a stain or a sealer for it uh, that'll help that shine and bring its color back it'll also help protect it a lot um, from the sun so still actually have to order that when i go run out to get that light bulb later on i might actually go run to home depot and see if they have something in stock already that i can just pick up and come home and put that on there i'll probably throw a couple coats on it uh, but let's go throw this metal, uh, this aluminum piece in the boat. Looks like overkill, but it's just because of the fiberglass. Um, could probably drill the hole out first, make it a little bit easier. But this should be fine. We got a nice, uh, it's nice and flush all the way around, which is good. Uh, moment of truth, though, let's uh, make sure that that piece of wood fits in here. Perfect. And it can hold my weight, so that's good. That was probably my biggest worry when I was uh, replacing this floor, because I knew the piece of wood that we were gonna have to put in here was gonna have to be pretty narrow but a couple of videos back that you saw we put all those like cross supports and um structural pieces underneath there to help hold it in so came out pretty good all right just ran to the store got a new pack of bulbs let's throw one in and make sure it still works all right let me go turn the power on see if it comes on So we got that fixed. We are going to put this thing back together. There we go. Wipe this off real quick. Good enough. get this uh, ladder out of the way and we'll show you it from the front. Cool. So that is working now. A little bit better of a view of the backlight here. That's still working as well. I did just grab some uh, teak oil from Home Depot right here. So we're going to uh, put some of that on that deck now.
pretty uh, big difference once you put this oil on here. So I don't know how good you can see it on camera, but it looks so much nicer once you go through and sand it all down and apply it. Um, but this is the stuff I'm using, uh, Waco Teak Oil. So far, really, uh, really like the finish it has on there. All right, we're gonna let that sit and dry. Um, gonna have to apply another coat on the ends of these. It's probably gonna absorb a good bit of it. Um, so we'll have to go in and throw a second layer on it, but we'll let this sit and dry for a little bit. Um, and then we'll flip it over, do the bottom, um, and then probably throw a second coat on the whole thing. All right, while we're waiting for that oil to dry, uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw down some carpet glue down here in this little storage compartment so we can throw in the uh, original carpet. All right, we got the glue all smeared down. Um, so let's work on getting that carpet in now. All right, that was very hard to get on camera, but we got that all in there. Um, there is a little drain hole right here that this little plate goes over. Um, so we're gonna reinstall that real quick, just like that. All right, we got that installed. Um, let's grab that uh, grate and throw the grate over top. All right, we got the wooden grate back in. Uh, it came out really nice. It's got a nice uh, dark color to it now, which is uh, which looks really good. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, Got a ton done, just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I think this is what I'm gonna use to put this edge here. I think, I'm not really too straight, I gotta make sure it's gonna work. But basically I wanna push it underneath there so that way it sits flat and then we'll just cut it so that way it covers all this. I think that's what we're gonna use. I'm not really too sure yet. I cut a little piece off just to try it out. So see what happens there, but um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.